YorkCountyDining.com presents the White Rose Cooking Show, sponsored in part by Cedar Valley High Definition Wedding Video. I'm so happy to be here in your PA. I really enjoy my stay here and really enjoy meeting everyone here. I always have a great time. Um, I'm doing a risotto parmigiana. I was going to do it with champagne because it's holiday time and a lot of people don't realize that you can do risotto with champagne instead of dry weight wine. I have a, a really good quality extra virgin olive oil. It's extra virgin cold press. I'm going to do the risotto first. Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to just drizzle this in my pan and you don't want to use a whole lot of olive oil, maybe um, maximum two tablespoons, but about a tablespoon, a tablespoon and a half. Um, what I'm doing is since we don't have a setup that I can sit here and make fresh vegetable or chicken broth all day long, I'm sort of cheating but you can you can do this the same and make it almost taste like fresh fresh broth i really do like the fresh broth in risotto what i'm doing is there's a company from italy that makes these wonderful sort of like a bouillon but it's much better than bouillon they're cubes it's a company i think it's called star and i have a porcini mushroom flavored broth that this will make for us however if you if you don't have the time to make your own broth and you want to though do a risotto, what you can do is you can do it half fresh and half not fresh. And by that I mean get a cube of a bouillon or something like what I have and then put in it fresh carrots and fresh carrots and fresh celery and fresh onions and let it simmer for, for just about 10 or 20 minutes and you'll, all, you'll get the flavor of the fresh vegetables in that also. I couldn't do that today so I'm just doing it this way. Has anyone ever made risotto by the way? Okay, has it come out well or it has? Okay, Does, has anyone ever had a problem with it? Making risotto? Okay, everyone always tells me they have such a problem because you know it is a, a long laborious type of thing to do but it's, it's really really well worth it once you've done it, once you've made that dish. It's a wonderful dish and it's wonderful to make it this time of the year and it only has really a few simple ingredients in it which is really risotto and the people that said they made risotto, have you used arborio rice or carnival arborio? So you know, great. If you want to make the perfect risotto, you can't use just any rice. It has to be risotto rice that is made for risotto, arborio or carnaroli rice. So make sure you get that. And also, I'm just going to go over here and stir the broth a bit. That's really important. Um, some people make it with a lot of butter, some people make it with just olive oil, some parts of Italy make it with both. I actually like it with a little bit of both. I tend to use olive oil first. Generally from the north of Italy, they're going to start off with butter. I started off with olive oil. However, what I do is when I'm done, my, when I'm done the risotto, I put a, a little pat of butter. Um, on each serving and with Parmigiano Reggiano cheese also. So, so that you still have that flavor of butter, but it's not as, as, as fat. We're going to do a little combination of butter and it gives it a lighter flavor. You're not going to get a really heavy flavor. So I need to make sure, now when you're doing risotto, always make sure that your broth is warm, almost hot before you add it. You don't want to make your broth and then cool it down and add it in because you want the rice to get that creamy texture. So let me just stir this, stir this, okay. So that's getting pretty, almost boiling for us. So I'm going to start with my risotto. And while I do, has anybody, anybody been to Italy recently or going to Italy? I just came back and I'm getting ready to go again. I, I live in Italy part of the year. If, if some of you don't know, I do. I live in Italy part of the year. My Basic Art of Italian Cooking book series was all written in Italy. Um, so I live in the mountains of Abruzzo. I don't know if anybody's familiar with Abruzzo. I live in the mountains of Abruzzo part of the year and the other part I'm back here in the States on the East Coast. I, I did have a lot of people coming by telling me they're going to Italy. Is anyone getting ready to go or no? Ah, you have to come and come, definitely come by and visit. Has anybody ever been to Italy? 
different bars that I'm sure you all have. A, a very a, a story that I usually always tell people, um, kind of a funny story. Everyone knows that Italian chefs are, are known to be very, very um, stringent with their standards for food and, and they take their foods very seriously. If you want some entertainment when you go to Italy, and some of you may have already done this or heard of people that have done this, if you go to a restaurant and, at, and order a dish with fish in it, like for instance clams with linguine or something, and you ask the chef for cheese, has anyone ever done that? Well, it's like a, a mortal sin in Italy to do that. If you do that, the chef will come, the chef himself, not his assistant, the chef will come out of the kitchen and tell you you're not allowed to put cheese on that dish. Because in Italy, it's a big no-no to put cheese with fish. So if you want entertainment, but I mean, it's more of an entertaining thing. Go to an Italian restaurant and ask for cheese on your fish dish. Okay, so what we're doing is... We're letting this, um, the risotto toast. The first ingredient we're going to add is the white wine. We want the, the alcohol will actually burn off and we'll still have the taste of the white wine in there. And, hey, what I want to do is, well actually I'm going to, See if I can time this for the this part. Yeah. Using that. Okay. You should normally cook a risotto for about 15 to 18 minutes. Not any more and not any less. And you want to taste it after 15 minutes to see if it's to your liking, because not everybody likes it. Some people like it al dente. It should always be a little al dente, though. You don't want it to be a mushy risotto. Okay, so we're letting that go. This is ready. I'm going to add in the white wine. And usually, this is, this is a serving for two to three people. I have a cup of the, of the arborio rice. So uh, to a cup of that, I'm going to add a cup of white wine. And that's the first liquid I'm going to add in. And we're going to let that liquid get absorbed. So those of you that have made risotto, you know once the liquid's absorbed, you have to put in the next amount of liquid, which will be my broth. And we'll do that a couple of times until the rice becomes finished. Okay, uh, we're also doing focaccia bread. Has anyone made their own focaccia bread? It's wonderful. What I'm doing is I'm going to do focaccia bread and the salad I'm doing is called insalata sapori d'italia. Sapori d'italia really means flavors of Italy and it's based on the spice blend that I'm actually we have at my booth today. Um, the spice blend, the company is called sapori which is flavors. And I'm introducing, it's a line of flavors. They're spice blends that reflect different regions of Italy. The first blend is from Tuscany, and it's called Tus Tuscan Picnic. And that's what we're going to use. It has all the flavors of Tuscany, and you can make all kinds of Tuscan dishes with that spice blend really quickly and easily. So the focaccia bread we're doing today is going to be topped with a spice blend, the Tuscan Picnic blend, and some Parmigiano cheese.